council members are always open to suggestions from the student body, and Connor and Jackson are back with a new JC Sports after a week off. The Red and Gold Show starts now. Hello Crusaders, welcome to the Red and Gold Show. I'm Camille Schrader, bringing you the news from the 007 studio. Student Council is providing students with the opportunity to send free candy grams to all students. Students, you may order candy grams for students who are in the other cohort, and this is a great way to connect with friends you don't get to see at school. You can still sign up to send candy grams in Miss Mead's room today during all resource periods. The candy grams will be delivered tomorrow and Friday. Student Council is also hosting a free dress out day tomorrow and Friday in order to celebrate Valentine's Day. You just need to wear something red or love inspired, but make sure it is school appropriate. Student Council members, try to come up with fun ideas like candy grams and Valentine's Day dress out days. But did you know the rest of us students can help with that? Man, I really wish we didn't have to wear uniforms. <laughs> Just the two people I was looking for. All right, listen up. I got an idea for student council. Oh no, not again. Is this like the time that you wanted to put OC Draws posters all over the school? Okay, now listen, that should still happen, but that's not what this is about. Well, the that, time you want a 20 minute passing period. You can use the bathroom, you can go to lunch, you can do a lot of things in 20 minutes. We still should have that, but that's not what this is about. This is about having a day on Monday, specifically, where us Cecina students can come in and we can wear anything we want as long as we have a Cecina shirt on. I think we should call it Casual Crusader Day. That sounds like a pretty good I idea. Like idea. Yes, make that my idea. Don't forget to put OC Draws at the bottom, sponsored by OC Draws. Don't forget um, people get free orders if they come in with their casual wear. Just, just make sure my idea gets there, you know? Okay, okay, yeah, okay we'll, we we'll got bring you. it out to Mr. Yeah, Rosso. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, guys. Sir, is that the Red and Gold show? All right, my vlog better be on here. That's what's up, Emily. Keep doing big things. Yes, sir! Casual Crusader Day! Let's go! That is LC Draws, but let's go! Wow, I didn't know OC had that much influence. Somehow, I don't think that's how the casual crusader thing went down, but it could have happened that way. If you have an idea for something that could be added or changed to improve our school experience, please share it with any Stuco member. You never know when your idea might become reality. Well, unless shameless self-promotion or 20-minute passing periods are involved, then you might become a meme. Now, let's check out our lunch menu. President's Day this coming week, we're going to have more of those casual Crusader Mondays. Maybe you could use some new gear to up your casual game here at school. Don't worry, the Spirit Shop has you covered with new gray sweatpants. You can get black or gray, so stop by and check them out. The Spirit Shop is open after school today until 4.30, tomorrow until 5, and Friday until 4. Now, let's head over to Emily for today's Crusader Sport. Thanks, Camille. The call-out meeting for girls' tennis will be held today at 3.15 in the cafeteria. Tonight, the boys' freshman basketball team will host Heritage Christian at 6 p.m. Good luck, Crusaders. Speaking of a basketball game, students have a chance to actually go to one and cheer on their classmates. 80 students are allowed to go to the boys' basketball game on Saturday. The team will host Monrovia with JV playing at 6 and Varsity at 7.30. Now that the seniors have been given the chance to sign up, everyone else can sign up today for any remaining spots. Students can find the sign-up form in a Canvas announcement or on the Stuco page. The form closes Friday at 8.15 a.m. Don't forget, any guy interested in playing lacrosse this spring can attend two more unofficial practices at an indoor facility at Ellenberger Park. These practices will be held Friday from 5 to 6 p.m. and Saturday from 8 to 9 a.m. An official call-up meeting will be held Tuesday in the cafeteria at 6.30 p.m. Participation and fee requirements will be discussed at the meeting. If you have any immediate questions, please see Mr. Dugan in the athletic office or Mr. DeLaca. 
The guys were on a bit of a hiatus last week with Catholic Schools Week, but they're back and ready. Wait, one of them is still on hiatus. It's still time for a modified JC Sports. Oh, hey, Connor. Well, I guess you didn't want to talk about the team that's 31 to 9. Top ready to go. Time, you suck. They went 0 16. But I don't know. Thanks, Jackson. Sorry about that Super Bowl prediction, Connor. Guess no one can win them all. That's it for sports. Back to Camille for more news. Thanks, Emily. During the month of February, we're celebrating Black History Month by sharing profiles of different African Americans who helped shape black history in the United States. Today, we're recognizing Gordon Parks. Parks was an American photographer, musician, writer, and film director. He became the first African American on the staff of Life magazine. He also became prominent in U.S. documentary photojournalism in the 1940s through 1970s, especially in issues of civil rights, poverty, and African Americans. Parks became the first black director of a major film, Shaft, and he helped to shape the black exploitation genre in the 70s. Parks famously told Life in 1999, I saw that the camera could be a weapon against poverty, against racism, against all sort of social wrongs. I knew at that point I had to have a camera. Now, let's check out today's forecast. Looks like we're getting more snow today, maybe tomorrow too, so stay safe, Crusaders. That's it for today's news. Stay safe, stay connected, and give that little extra. Later, Staters.